paying cash and getting a home loan later. All right, guys, this is a big, big topic with real estate on fire. And I'm gonna dive into this really important strategy, but before I do, please subscribe to this channel for all of your mortgage current information. Guys, it's crazy out there, and you want to know the facts before anybody else. So subscribe below. Okay, here's the tip, and that is, paying cash and obtaining a home loan later. Now, out on the street, this is often called delayed financing. But really, what does that mean? Well, it kind of means what it just said. It's delaying the financing. This is used on conventional home loans, and essentially, here's how it works. So let's say you are in a position to pay cash for the property, which immediately puts you at the top of the list in the seller's eyes, right? Because there's less contingencies, there's less things that can go wrong, you can generally close faster with cash, etc. So in this type of market that we're experiencing here in Phoenix, Arizona, and many, many markets across the entire country, it is a limited inventory type of situation, which means there's multiple offers. So if you're a buyer in Phoenix, Arizona, I guarantee you're probably gonna have some competition. So if there are 10 offers or 15 or 20 offers, what is going to set your offer apart from the others? Now let's assume all of the others have financing contingencies. So that means that they can buy the house, but it's contingent on financing. And that's pretty traditional in our world. But if you could come along and tap into your cash on a short-term basis and change your offer from being contingent on financing to a cash offer, it very likely is going to move you to the top of the list and potentially get your offer accepted. Now, what if you say, whoa, 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 Kelly, I don't want to be into that house for all of that cash. I ultimately want to leverage today's historic interest rates. Well, the good news is there is a way to do that, paying cash and getting a home loan later. So here's how you would use it. The scenario I just gave you, so hot, hot real estate market, you need to pay cash to win, or also, if the house is not going to be able to get financing immediately, meaning it's a total fixer upper, there's stuff that has to get done on it, you could pay cash, do the rehab, and then come back and leverage a loan later. Now, how long do you have to wait? Well, it used to be that you would have to wait six months to 12 months to be able to do this type of strategy, but that's not the case anymore. It is a delayed financing program that allows you to immediately get started on the refinance after you close. So I have a borrower right now who was in this ex same exact situation. He had written 10 different offers on 10 different houses and lost every one. And it was a $500,000 price point. And he's like, I really can pay cash, but I don't want to do that. I really want to have a loan on this property. So we worked through a strategy. We got his refinance pre-qualified, so we knew he could obtain financing. He went back, placed a cash offer, one closed, and then we got started on the refinance and he'll close here next week. So it's really just important to kind of understand the strategy. But the most important thing is talk to a lender before you go pay cash, because what if you can't obtain financing? So the way that the lender is going to look at this refinance is just like they would look at any other home loan. So we're going to check credit, we're going to check income, making sure it meets the lending guidelines. Um, we're going to get into you know, the valuation, whether an appraisal is needed or not. Very likely an appraisal is going to be needed because you're doing a cash out refinance. That's essentially what this is. So let's look through the, let's kind of walk through the numbers. Let's say that the purchase price was 500,000. You're not getting $500,000 cash back. Okay, so really understand that you're gonna get 80% of the current market value. So if the house purchase price was 500, and let's say that the current market value of the house was 500, then you can come back and do a loan immediately at 80% of 500, which is a $400,000 loan. So super, super important to know that if you're tapping into some of your resources, you're not getting the full 500,000 back. Okay, you would get 80% of what you paid for the house or the current market value. So I just really, I think that it's a fantastic 
strategy. That's what this is, guys. It's all about strategy in this market. This is one strategy that can work if you are in a position to be able to tap into your resources, come to the table as a cash buyer, but absolutely be sure that you have already spoken with a lender, that you do qualify for the refinance, and that we are on track with that house closes as cash, boom, we are ready to go, okay? A couple of other things to keep in mind though, and that is, ideally, if your offer can get accepted with a home loan attached to it, then that is the better option. I'm just throwing this out here if you're competing and your offer is not getting accepted because it's contingent on financing. Because if you decide to pay cash and then you come back and put a home loan on it, guess what, you're paying title fees twice. And the refinance is going to be considered a cash out refinance, so interest rates are higher on cash out refinances than if you were just to obtain financing from a purchase transaction standpoint. So good things to know. If you guys have any questions about this, look, there's pros and cons to any home loan. Let's just face it, there are. There's pros and cons to paying cash. Talk to a seasoned, experienced loan officer that can really dive into your particular scenario, understand what your goals are, and put together a strategy that best fits those goals. If you found value in this, please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you soon.